todo lo que es este, la, los lugares donde no está cayendo el agua bien. Aquí específicamente hay goteros, que, digo, de las partes de drift que se les metió raíz, ¿ya? entonces va a haber algunas que están tapadas y esas no oh, funcionan. Okay. So, están tapadas por hojas, raíces, 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 raíces. y basura, raíces, sí, raíces. basura, todo basura y raíces, Ajá. y está causando que se tapen y se sequen las plantas. Exactamente, y por lo regular es porque ya tienen, están muy enterradas, entonces, tú sabes que cuando están bien enterradas es lo más probable es que se tapen de raíz. Ya, yeah. so, situation here is we have multiple areas where um, the root system of the, tre the trees and the plants have clogged up the drip emitters, the, you know, Uh, they've made their way through the emitters and clogged up the holes and they're causing to not water and because of that blockage So it's causing plants to stress because they're not receiving the, the proper amount of water So it's important to replace those areas uh, Those drip emitters and those lines that have root systems in we cut them replace them and another thing too I think it's because if you have drip lines underneath the um, the soil the ground It's easier for the roots to, I mean, roots grow in soil and dirt, right? So it's easier for the roots to just go and just grab on and choke and get in the drip lines because that's water. They want water. That's why it's important when you install drip irrigation, it's above the soil surface and below a mulch layer, right in between. So you have the mulch protecting it from the sunlight. And then if there's any issues, you could remove the bark away from the drip, fix it, and then cover back with drip. Because if it's underground, you gotta dig in there. It's a lot of work, a lot of labor, and it, it's not the right way to do it. Okay, el pasto, todo el pasto, aquí está funcionando bien. The entire lawn area is all working perfect. Uh, sí. Maybe you need some more water. Yo quiero ponerle más agua, nada más. Just, todo, just todo more todo water, but every, everything looks good. Look, man, yeah. look the hedge, man. Sí. It looks nice. Esta, esta área, esta área de aquí, de las agaplantas, también tiene este, has sufficient water for the agapanthas. It's drip or sprinklers? So the agapanthas, so you gotta be careful, they have um, shallow roots above the surface and then they, 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 they're damaging the drip lines, the micro sprayers and, and they're causing leaks and clogs. These are, these are micro sprayers. They tend to get clogged too over time. Can you get a good, good uh, picture of that video? They tend to get clogged so it's important to uh, replace and clean the heads. That's good. Some of them need extension, so that's very important too because if you don't have the extension, it's going to get blocked by the, by the plants and it's not going to reach the plants. So in one year, when the plants are small, it may have full coverage, but the second year, they're, they're, they're twice as the size, it's going to block and the plants over here are not going to grow and these are going to be nice and green and the client's going to be like, hey, what's going on over here? Well, the plants grow, so you got to extend the, 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 the micro spray, you got to extend them or have a develop a proper drip irrigation so it's watering the entire area without any issues of anything blocking. That's why I highly recommend drip irrigation for most um, uh, for most plants. It all depends what type of plants and, and trees, but for the most part, you're safe with drip. Drip. Same, Same thing over here, roots oh, clogging yeah. up, choking the drip line, so causing leaks and, and no watering in some areas. Okay. Okay, let's uh Aquí en lo mismo, toda esta área, lo que me dije hace rato, los micro sprayers son los que algunos están tapados. El mira está. Look at this beauty here. Look at that. Focus on the on the plant. They don't smell, but. See? <laughs> well, in the noche. They, they smell. Jesus says they smell at night. <laughs> Good. Okay. 
spares de los que no usamos ya de los que habían tan chorritos oh, yeah, yeah. y algunos están tapados entonces en toda, en toda esta línea de aquí todos los arbolitos que miras de aquí es lo que tienen ese problema okay. so, same look you see how the grass of the roots are it takes a good video right here so they can see how the roots compromise the drip you see that see the roots you see this coming out i mean it's just choking and strangling this drip line um, and this one's above the soil but this is broken see that this is broken so this type of uh, emitter we do no longer use them and we haven't been using them for a few years now because they always get clogged the, there's there's a hole um, all the way around 360 degrees but they always tend to get clogged and you always got to adjust them so we have since you know a few years ago have transitioned to a different type of emitter that never gets clogged uh, usually and it's much more efficient than these so it's very important to uh, uh, pick the right type of materials right type of tools so you have less trouble with your irrigation system less stress easier life happier lifestyle and um, yeah an amazing journey right an amazing journey Always be improving and learning. That's what we do. Right? Yeah, just leaks here that need to be fixed. You know, this is routine. That's why you gotta always be checking and fixing your irrigation system. This is this is this is normal. Ese de, ese de ahí sale, pero es de los que avientan como por chorritos así. Yeah. Y, este, y no está extrayando, pero sí se moja todo ahí. Se moja. Yo pienso que va a necesitar más tiempo para el agua. Entonces el riego está bien. El riego está bien. O sea, so, está bien. so the irrigation here on this area, although that area looks dry and here looks a lot greener, uh, we believe that we checked it and everything works fine. So what's the second problem? Well, we gotta check and look at the irrigation uh, timer and see how long it's watering and how often. And, um, but more than likely, we're almost, if, if the irrigation is working properly, that means the irrigation timer needs to increase the water or maybe it's not being activated when it's supposed to. Maybe there's a wire slice. We still don't know. We're not that far yet, but we'll find out. So this area is dry. There's no irrigation system here, but it's 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 greener. So. Pero está, está así de verde porque aquí es pura sombra. No le está afectando and mucho. And it's probably because of the shade. Although that's on the shade too, but this is on the shade too. And this is you see how it's on the slope. So maybe when it rained, maybe I don't know. Maybe when it rained, all the water came down and pooled in here and saturated the soil, and the moisture has been holding on longer. Maybe that's it. Um, we don't know yet, but we're we're. We're about what 70, 80 percent done with this. 80, 90 percent. 80. We're about 80 percent done. So we still have a few more questions, but this job is not completed. Um, but we're just uh, we're doing the walkthrough just to really understand what's going on, so we can guide ourselves, so we know, uh, so we can complete the job and have a complete report for the client. Juan, ¿tienes el número de la oficina? No. Mira la, la playera atrás de, de Antonio. Habla a la oficina. Dile que Jorge dice que cancel, que, que, que cancele la cita de mi once y media. Because uh -huh. um, I'm still at a job site. Uh -huh. And tell him that um, and, and I'll be there in about 30 minutes. Because okay. I'm at a job site. Right. And so you be 30 minutes late? 30 minutes late. Or you can help them. Please. No. Yeah. So this all has irrigation, so it's working right. Maybe it needs more, more water so everything looks better. All irrigation centers working great. Look at that. No son goteros, nada más está el río así. Yeah. Entonces, toda esta área de aquí, hacer una recomendación de ti para poner como un liquid sprayer. That's all dry there. Entonces, todo aquí necesita más agua ahorita por la mejor la sombra y todavía que no se viene en el verano. 
no se está dañando mucho. So this sí. area needs water. It's dry. There is no irrigation for these plants. These probably grew with the rain and plus the shade, but eventually they'll, they'll die off um, unless it's being hand watered. Unless the client's hand watering. But if the client does not want to hand water, we can definitely improve the irrigation system so we can water the entire area and then they don't have to worry about that anymore. Uh, but yeah, I'm, I'm, the box would look great. Uh, check this out. Yeah. That's good. So th those emitters, they, the flow on them is great. Everything's working great. Everything's working fine. Good. Good. You good, Antonio? And look, this is Antonio's work. Amazing. You guys are going to see. If you guys have not seen it yet and you're watching this video, watch the before video of how large these boxwoods were and just look at them now. Wow, look at that. And then look at these. They're like, like a Christmas tree. Cones. Yeah, yeah. They're nice, beautiful cones. It's all uh, Antonio Torres' work. You see all this? Perfect. There's no irrigation system here, so these need to be hand watered. Solo esta parte de arriba, nada más tiene. Yeah, look at this one. Todo lo de abajo sí tiene. Eso sí? Sí, todo hasta allá tiene. See, that's beautiful. Those two over there, too. Those two over there. They're going to look a lot better once they start getting water. More sunlight in the spring. <laughs> Alright, anything else? I think that's it, right? Thank you guys for watching. If you guys have any questions, uh, you know, please send me an email. Call us at 805-453-9551 here in Santa Barbara, California. We love working with our community. Um, again, my name is Jorge Cortez and that's Antonio. Antonio Torres, Jesus, Jesus Clemente, uh, Juan, and Juan, <laughs> and, and um, Germán Soto behind the camera. Germán Soto behind the camera. So uh, say cheese. So thank you guys very much. Enjoy a beautiful day in paradise. Always remember to smile, be positive, be happy, and then work on it every day, and then you'll reach your dreams. You know, before you know it, you're living the dream. That's how I feel right now, and I hope that's how you should feel every single day of your life no matter what you're living your dream right now take care and have a great day bye